Hello, Amiibros. This is Jason of Gaming Shock. So, welcome to my 28th haul video. Yes, my 28th haul video. So, you know the drill by now. So, now, let's start. So, um, I got games from pretty much everywhere. My mainstays, Core Gaming, Bull Moose, eBay. And since flea market season has been starting lately, I've been going to the flea market lately. So I got some stuff from there. Games and movies and a console. Just some spoilers right there. And uh, if you want to skip to the movies, uh, skip to this time frame on screen right now. Alright, so let's begin with the flea market stuff that I got. Um, so the first thing that I bought... Um, let's see, let's start with this one. So... Uh, this one's a PlayStation 1 game, and for $3, I got Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, which was a game I was not expecting to ever find for $3 at the flea market. Because I think this game goes for like $20, $25 on eBay, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But you know what, that's a, that's a good thing. The guy was nice enough to um, uh, lower the price down from $6, because I didn't have enough um, like cash on me at the time. So, the guy was nice enough uh, to put, uh, he, he had it for like $6, so um, he, he just dropped it to 3 because the disc was kind of scratched. So, we got Spyro just in a yellow background instead of like, FIRE! And Spine and the back. I like how it's 2 is in brackets for some reason. And the back. Mess with the dragon and feel the, no. Ugh, God, I can't speak. Mess with this dragon and feel the burn! So this will be interesting just going into this game because I never played Spyro 2 and I haven't really played it that much on the Reignited Trilogy. So inside, here's the disc. Nice orange disc with Ripto's eyes, if you can see. And then on the manual is Crash Team Racing, which is gonna, which is gonna be um, remade in a few... which is being remade right now. So then, taking out the disc is Spyro. Just swimming around with a crab. It's probably one of the best deals I've ever seen on PS1 games because I don't often get PS1 games. I'm not a big PS1 collector, but that was cool to see. All right, so next one is um, another P PlayStation One game, but this, was, but unlike the other guy, the guy that I bought this from was really, really stingy with the prices. Like, I could tell he was a reseller. But um, just look at the stack right here. Like, there was some good stuff in there, like Mega Man Legends and um, Tactics Ogre. But he wanted, like, $60, $80 for those. So, uh, actually, I think Mega Man Legends he wanted for, like, $20, but it didn't have a manual. So, this was the best option I could go with. So, for $10, I got Crash Bash. Greatest Hits. I don't really care what's Greatest Hits. It's like Crash Bash. Another PS1 Crash game, which is interesting. And for 10 bucks, hey, why not? And it's a party game, so that's another good sign. So then, Spine, and the back. Bring it on, baby! So let's just get some screenshots of some of the mini games. I heard, like, I've heard mixed things about Crash Bash. I've heard some people say it's a really fun party game, but I've heard that it's a very, like, hard game to complete 100%. Or maybe I'll just use cheat codes if there are any. So inside... Here's the disc with pretty much the same as just with Crash giving a smug look on his face. And then, uh, can you take the heat with Spyro, Year of the Dragon, and Greatest Hits? Yes. And then taking out the disc is Tiny Tiger and something. Some indescribable object. If I can get the disc in there. But yeah, uh, the guy was really stingy with the prices, so I just like passed on pretty much everything else. Alright, so next is um, PlayStation 3 games. These were the first things I got when I went to the flea market. So, um, the first one is Resistance 2. Um, not really much to say about Resistance 2 because I haven't really played much of the first one. So, yeah. it's I think it just takes... It just furthers the plot more. And I think it's same gameplay-wise. So, we got a nice yellow background. And then your main character, Nathan Hale, with evil eyes. Then spine, nice looking like orange and black spine in the back. America is forever lost. I mean, America is forever lost. Send screenshots, and then the text. Really, not much to say. So inside, here's the disc, which looks like some kind of like radar scans, 
And, uh, and then here's the manual with modern technology and the world's most powerful weapon. <laughs> That's cool. I, I've always lo like had an appreciation for manuals like this. Like, ones that, that go out of their way to, like, I, um... Not really, like sort of like camouflage like with the games like like art style or whatever. So then on the back is the PlayStation camera stuff and PlayStation network and then taking out the disc and the manual is some like brochures of like fifties America. So there's that. I do want to give Resistance like a full on chance because it's Insomniac and Insomniac is one of my favorite developers. All right, so next is Dark Void. So, Resistance 2 and Dark Void, these were both a dollar, I'm pretty sure. So, Dark Void, I really don't know anything about this game. Except that it's Capcom, so I was like, this is, that just seems like a weird choice for Capcom to make a game like this. But who knows? I haven't played it yet, but according to the back, oh, by the way, Spine and the back, Rise Up. The game says that it's the first fully 3D action shooter. Uh, I don't know. Is it like a twin stick shooter? Is it like, um... Uh, well, is it like a MOBA? No, not like a MOBA. Like, so, I, I'm guessing it's like a twin-stick shooter, pretty much. I don't know. It looks like a fun game, though, because it's one I've never seen before. So, inside, here's the disc. And there was a sticker on the disc from, I think it was, I don't know, was it? Oh, no, it was from Showcase, I think. Oh, no, um, it's not Movie Gallery. I forgot where the sticker came from, so that's why it says Void all over it. Get it? Void? And this game is called Dark Void? Ha! No. And then here's the manual and a code. Don't know what the code's for. All right, so next is another game from the the not stingy guy uh, from the flea market, and he us and he also had this for three dollars because the disc was kind of a bit scratched and messed up. So this is Bully Scholarship Edition for three dollars. <sighs> Probably the best deal out of every like most stuff so far because this game goes for like 15 dollars i think so <laughs> yeah bet, great deal so, and of course it's a game by r star it's rockstar i'm sorry it's rockstar my bad uh so we got oh, sorry i hit my tripod uh so we just got your main character and the what i'm guessing is the principal like mm, and spine and the back Enhanced graphics, enhanced gameplay. I really don't know much about Bully other than it's GTA, but in a school. That's really all I know about the game. So inside, here's the disc with nice blue disc. And like I said, it's kind of scratched, but I'm pretty sure it works. And then here's the manual with your, the character again. And then, of course, like any Rockstar game, it has a map slash poster, which is always a plus. Alright, so next is a game I got for a dollar uh, from just some just some guy just wanted to get rid of his stuff. Uh, this is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. So I don't really have anything to say about Pro Skater 4. It's pretty much Pro Skater 3, except I prefer Pro Skater 3 over 4. That's pretty much it. There's some, I'm, I think there's like some slight improvements to like gameplay, but I wouldn't know. You might want to look somewhere else for that. So in Spine and the back. Drop in to the ultimate challenge. We got Tony just getting ready to drop in. Just getting ready to go. Ow! If you know the Tony Hawk games, you'll know exactly what I mean. And also, this game was online, which was pretty interesting. For a PlayStation 2 game in when? When did this game come out? 2002. That must have been, like, really ahead of its time back then. So here's the disc with an orange disc to match with Pro Skater 4. And then there's the manual, and then a Activision O2 Sports Revolution uh, brochure of a bunch of Activision O2 Extreme Sports games. So yeah, uh, next is some PlayStation 3 games. First one is God of War Ascension. And there's a motorcycle going by. <laughs> so, God of War Ascension. I've heard this is actually the weakest of all the God of War games, but uh, it still looks good. This was like a 2 for 5, I think, for... PS3 games that I got. So it's just Kratos getting out of his Chains of Olympus. Even though this isn't Chains of Olympus. The spine just black again. And the back. Before he was a god, he was a man. Like all of us, we were all men at one point. Or we were probably previous men. 
I don't even know where I'm going with this. So inside, here's the disc with the Omega. And an online pass and an advertisement for The Last of Us. And uh, there's no manual. I don't know if this game has a manual or not. Someone let me know. All right, next is Tom Clancy's Hawks. So it's it's Tom Clancy, but with helicopters. I don't know. I really don't know anything about this game. It was 250 pretty much. So that's why I bought it. So then spine, a silver spine, and the back. Elevate your experience of warfare with planes and helicopters and all kinds of choppas. All right, so nice yellow. I like that yellow. Inside, here's the disc and no manual. Oh, well. I'm sure this game is easy enough to find a manual for. All right, so next is some Wii games from that not stingy guy. And he also had these, like, he gave me a deal on them for, like, three. He gave me it all for $6, I think. So the first one is Alone in the Dark for the Wii. I didn't even know this game was released for the Wii. So I just went with it and just took it. <laughs> even though I've heard this game is garbage on, like, I think 360 and PS3. So I'm sure the Wii version may be even worse or better. I don't know. So it's fine. And the back. They say they said Central Park was for the people. They lied. Oh yeah, really? Did they lie? Because do you think that um, Central Park has some kind of like Illuminati conspiracy going on? I don't know. I saw Central Park on my trip to New York and I didn't see any Illuminati crap. So inside, here's a disc with the guy and then this guy again. Um, and then the back is the soundtrack. Like, hey, get the soundtrack for Alone in the Dark. Like, you'll really love it. Alright, the other Wii game is the Godfather Black Hand Edition, which is red, so already it's lying. But, uh, I, I don't know if the Godfather of the game actually takes the plot of the movie. I'm not sure, because I haven't seen the movie, and I really don't know. So we got, we got Vito Corleone. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. This is, it's this game. <laughs> it's the spine and the back. Welcome to the family. Just make you an offer you can't refuse. I, my Italian accent is terrible. Even though I could do it far better. For sure. So it's screenshots. Maybe it does take the pause of the movie. I, I really don't know. So inside. Here's the disc. Nice, nice red disc. And then the red hand edition. I mean black hand edition. And then EA cheat codes. And then like the original receipt from when this was purchased. Um, I'll look at that after because I've like, I've got way too much stuff for this haul video, so let's just move on. All right, that last one uh, is an original Xbox thing. This one's not a game, but this is the Fable limited edition bonus DVD. So I really don't know what this has. It, it says on the back that it has like um, stuff about like the making of Fable, and it also has a demo of Sudeki, which I already have. And you get to see all the lies that Peter Molyneux spewed out of his mouth. And inside is just the disc. And I'm pretty sure this had no manual. I'm not sure. Someone let me know in the comments. Alright, so next is eBay. So I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go into eBay, there's actually one more. Th there's actually two more things I got from, uh, from the flea market. The first one is a uh, copy of Game Informer. Which has Linky Boy on it and fee because this is for Skyward Sword. This is issue two twenty two, and it's for October two thousand eleven. So like Skyward Sword was coming out at the time, and there's even a name up here. I'm not gonna show it just in case the guy comes after me. <laughs> so yeah, this is some like beautiful art by the way. I haven't played Skyward Sword, so I don't know. I want to get Skyward Sword. It's probably like one of the big games I still need for the Wii. All right, and then for ten dollars. I bought an Xbox 360 at Slim. Just the console. You might not be able to see the whole thing, but yeah. This is a this is a Slim Xbox 360. $10. Just the console. I bought the I bought an HDMI cord while I was there and I already had and I bought a power cord separately. So, yeah, and it works perfectly fine. So, prepare to see some Xbox 360 games in this video. All right, so next is some an eBay purchase. So for fifteen dollars, I got all these like sports games, but they were all sports games I actually wanted. So um, except for one, but that, that's fine. First one is 
ES, uh, X Games skateboarding. So it's just a Tony Hawk clone, but with uh, instead of Tony Hawk, we got Bob Burnquist. Very exciting, I know. <laughs> just the other Tony Hawk. So and the spine and the back. Eight top pros. And that's it. That's all you need. Go big at the X Games. Because, again, that's all you need. So, ins inside, here's the disc. With Bob Burnquist, I'm guessing, doing his tricks. There's the manual with the same art from the cover. And on the back is Winter Games Snowboard in 2002 and Winter Games Snowcross. Because I'm guessing that the Winter Olympics were coming out at the time, like Winter 2002. So, why the hell not? Alright, so next is... NBA Street. Okay, even though I don't really care about basketball, this is such a fun game. I mean, look at this. We got this lanky guy. I'm not sure who he's supposed to be, but... <laughs> this is a tutorial of, like, Come on, player! player just shoot the ball, player! I'm just calling a player a boy or whatever. Whatever <laughs> basketball players say. Boy. That's uh, so a spine. And the back. Bring it! And... Look at this tall guy. Look at this lanky man. He knows what's up, player. All right, so inside, here's a disc. Nice blue disc. And it also is blue on the back. <laughs> um, and then on the back is SSX Tricky and Sledstorm 2. I don't think Sledstorm 2 ever came out, so... Oh, well. But I do have SSX Tricky. It's just on Xbox. All right, so next is SSX. So I already have SSX. This just came with it. I was like, okay. But if anyone wants to have this this copy of SSX, let me know. Because I'll gladly like send someone like, this copy of SSX. Um, just need to know more about like how to mail stuff. All right, so last one is SSX3. So, yeah, this was probably the reason why I got this, like, this whole thing. Because this game is kind of pricey on eBay. And I like core gaming and such. So, yeah. And this game is awesome. This is a great sports... Extreme sports game. So we just got Elise, I think, um, on our snowboard. Since Spine, just with snow, and the back. It's you against the mountain. With some really beautiful looking graphics uh, for the pictures. For the screenshots. Inside, here's the disc, again, and then here's the manual, and then on the back is the Prima's official hint book for the game, and then on the back of the manual is Need for Speed Underground, but that's just kind of weird, like, <laughs> saying, like, hey, you want some tips on SSX3, boy? Well, here you go, you got some hints. Alright, so next, um, let's do, um, Walmart. So, I got a bunch of stuff from Walmart, so... Uh, fine. so, let's start with this one. The first one is Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Two copies of Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Reason being is because these games were both, let me just pull this sticker off, a dollar. I am not kidding. These were both a dollar when I saw them. And yeah, this is the Xbox One slash 360 versions. Uh, this one I already opened because um, I tried recording like of like half hour ago and it didn't end up go and it ended up not going well. So this is just like a, the ultimate edition of Injustice Gods Among Us, just on the same disc for 360 and Xbox One. Very exciting, I know. And then this one I'm gonna keep sealed because I'm because pr I'll probably sell this online or maybe I'll um, trade it in. Uh, the disc is loose in this one. So is this one, but I already put the disc in it. But it's still. Alright, next is a 3DS game. And even though I don't have a 3DS, I still bought this game. Because for $3, I got Pokemon Omega Ruby. I mean, come on. How can you pass up Pokemon for $3? You can't, because Pokemon is expensive as hell. So, why not? So, we just got a Pokemon right there, and I don't know what it is. Ancient Powers Reawaken. I don't know. I don't know anything about um, Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, next game. Alright, so last thing from Walmart. And this was also a game that um, 
I opened during my failed recording of this a half hour ago. And that is Super Mario Maker. If it could stop falling over. So yeah, Mario Maker. I think this is my first big Mario game that I got in a while. So you know what? Props to me for actually doing that. Because this was $11. And this was the last copy that they had at the Walmart that I went to. So that was smart on me to do that. And it also comes with an idea book. Okay, so spine. Nice yellow spine in the back. Anyone can make it. Everyone can play it. Yeah. So play, create, share, advance through four Mario game styles. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, and New Super Mario Bros. U. I'll probably make, I think most of the levels I'm probably going to make through New Super Mario Bros. U. Because I'm, mo I'm mostly familiar with New Super Mario Bros. U and its mechanics. Or maybe I'll, I'll do some other ones, I don't know. So here's the idea book that comes with, with the game. So it's kind of a, a, a cool little uh, look through. I haven't read through the whole thing yet, but it, it's interesting. And then here's the game. In a nice red case with the, the yellow. And it's just it's just the same as the box art. So inside, here's the disc. With some very interesting looking level design. Right there, I will say that. It looks like an interesting level. And then here's viewing the game manual, which you don't care about. Alright, so next is... Jesus Christ, there's a mess behind me. Uh, next, let's do Core Gaming. So, I did a 15 for 20 for Core Gaming because I wanted to... Because most of the games I, I was going to get were from my brother. But since I got this Xbox 360 that I showed you, um, it's not really a problem anymore. So, basically for all these games, except for the last one, I pretty much pay like $1.50 for them. Pretty much. So the first one is a PlayStation 3 game, and that is Grand Theft Auto 4. A game that needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever. It's Grand Theft Auto 4. So, spine and the back. Welcome to Liberty City. This is all you need in Grand Theft Auto 4. Helicopters, cool cars, and Nico Bellic. I don't know anything about Nico Bellic, but you know what? I want to play Grand Theft Auto 4 soon. Just to see, like, what it's like. Alright, so inside. Here's the disc with Nico Bellic again. With the Rockstar logo all the way out there. Uh, we got the poster slash map for the game. And then the Liberty City guidebook. And it has nothing on the back. Well, if you could see it. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 4. I, um, I already have, I have Grand Theft Auto 5 on PlayStation 4. Just in case you guys are wondering. Alright, so next is the only Wii game in the 15 for 20, and that is Rayman Raving Rabbids TV Party. I really don't know anything about this game or the other Rayman Raving Rabbids games, even though Rayman is not on the cover for some reason, but you know what? Whatever. I know people will get mad about that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Spine and the back. The rabbits have invaded your TV! Wait, let me check. No, they didn't. They, they are not on my TV. They're, the game is lying. The game is lying to me up front. And you can use the balance board. Which is, which is interesting. So inside, here's the disc. Blue disc with um, TV. <laughs> and then uh, here's the manual. And on the back is Sean White snowboarding road trip. Yeah, I was going on a road trip with Snow, with Snow White. Sean White and the Rabbids. Alright, so next is a bunch of Xbox 360 games that I was going to get from my brother, and I will give some of these games to my brother, because you know what, I felt like a generous guy going to core gaming. So, um, the first one is Halo 3. Oh yeah, of course I gotta have Halo 3 when talking about Xbox 360 games. I mean, how could you? It's Halo 3. I haven't played it yet. I want to. Because, because again, because I got my 360, not that... Not that while, oh, not that, I can't speak today. Not that long ago, I'll probably play Halo 3. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play on Halo 3. I don't know. So we got Master Chief just looking out like, this war is almost over. Since Spine, and the back. The stunning conclusion to the Halo trilogy, which isn't even a trilogy anymore. So thank you, Microsoft, for making that happen. Like, just not making it a trilogy. Now we have the Halo quad... Uh, Quintilogy, or whatever the hell you call five. Inside, here's the disc with evil eyes and something 
destroyed in the background. And then here's the manual with Master Chief and Cortana on it because I do know some of the characters in Halo, even though I've never played the games. Because my brother is a really big Halo, Halo fan. Um, so we got some Xbox Live stuff that I'm pretty sure doesn't work, but you know what? I'll, I'll test it out. Okay, so next is um, Battlefield Bad Company 1 and 2. So let's start with the first one. Um, I never had, uh, my brother never had Battlefield Bad Company 1, so why not just have four men just as, uh, walking away from Smiley Grenade? Because that's what you always do when Smiley Grenade comes up, you just walk away. <laughs> so it's fine, and the back. You're in bad company now. Oh crap. Smiley grenade. <laughs> and explosions. And inside. Here's the disc. Just with smiley grenade again. And manual. <laughs> Not the manual. <laughs> the four guys. And the four guys again on the manual. With smiley grenade. And EA cheat codes. And this thing. And everything that you need for bad company too. And then for <laughs> Bad Company 1, I mean. Bad Company 2, it just looks about the same. It's just you got this guy walking away even further from Smiley Grenade. Um, probably from Tank, which probably has Smiley Grenade in it. So, who the hell knows? <laughs> spine, which is a better looking spine, and back. The boat <laughs> it doesn't really say anything. Just saying like, hey, hey person buying the game. Like, prepare yourself for, like, online warfare and destruction, explosions everywhere, like you're in a Michael Bay film. Alright, inside, here's the disc, and no manual. Stupid me forgot to look for a manual. Alright, so next is kind of the same story with the Bad Company games. Uh, we got Gears of War 1 and 2. So, Gears of War 1 is kind of the same with uh, Bad Company 2. Got the disc, but no manual. Again, stupid me forgot to look for the manual. Uh, a, a nightmare from below. A hero from within. Ooh. And then Gears of War 2. I mean, I don't really need to say anything about Gears of War. Uh, they're pretty much like the most, like, probably one of the most influential games on the 360. Pretty much. So Gears of War 2 has just got much, much more going on than the first game. I guess. So it's fine in the back. Winter approaches. War rages on. Wow. It's hide. Here's the disc. And then I actually have a manual for this one. For some reason. And then check out Battlestar Galactica. The final season on the sci-fi channel. Even though I thought Battlestar Galactica was like a thing of the 80s. Uh, like the late 70s, early 80s. Alright, so the last Xbox 360 game is Dishonored. Um, I kind of wanted to get more Bethesda games, so I just went with Dishonored next. So it's just like, you know what? I want to stealth kill stuff because I like stealth games, even though I'm not the best at stealth games. So you know what? Let's just go as Mask Man. The spine. This cool looking spine. And the back. Revenge solves everything. Oh, yeah. It does solve everything. It solves your, your marriage, uh, your financial troubles, your job. <laughs> um, your relationships with friends or family. It solves everything. Revenge will always solve everything. Inside. Here's a disc. And there's actually some artwork on the back, as you can see. And then there's a manual. And on uh, the back is More City and Doom 3 BFG Edition. Alright, so next is the original Xbox games. So the first one is Medal of Honor Frontline. Um, I've already been over this game before because I already have, because, you know what, I like this game. Why not? All out multiplayer warfare. It's probably the best way to play Hit Metal of Honor Frontline on, uh, in multiplayer. Since Spine and the back. You don't play, you volunteer, and it's trademarked. <sighs> Tell screenshots. I'm currently doing a Let's Play on this game if you really want to know. So, link in the description below if you want to see my Let's Play. Inside, here's the disc, which is the same as the PlayStation 2 disc. And then here's the manual with black. That's all you need, just black. Just, it's probably like a metaphor for something. Alright, next is 007, Everything or Nothing. So, 
it's double seven. This was the last double seven I, game I need for the original Xbox. I have all of them, but this one's still not my favorite. I do like that they actually got like Pierce Brosnan to do a the voice of of James Bond. They also got like some other like big name actors like Willem Dafoe, uh, John Cleese, and Judy Dench as M. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, spine, just a black spine. Who cares? And then of course you gotta have your Bond girls because with everything at stake, the world calls on Bond. It calls on Pierce Brosnan's Bond. <laughs> Inside, here's a disc. And then the manual and uh, Get Die Another Day on DVD, which I've heard that's the worst James Bond film, so <laughs> go get it. Alright, so next is a bunch of PS2 games. So I'm, I'm probably just going to go through these really quickly because I've got a lot more games to go through. So the first one is Reign of Fire, um, a game with about dragons and helicopters and tanks. Which is apparently based on a movie I've never heard of because you gotta fight fire with fire against dragons with tanks. So, here's the disc. And this was how I found out this is a movie. Because uh, Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale are on this mail in insert. So, that's what, how I found out this is a movie. That, that was very weird. Alright, next is Hitman Blood Money. Um. <laughs> with the bonus disc. That was why I, I bought this. So, uh, prepare to make a killing as Agent 47. Maybe just going in normally or just stealth killing every single person in sight. So, here's that uh, bonus disc with the, um, <laughs> the sneak preview of Kane and Lynch Dead Men. And then here's the actual disc for Hitman Blood Money. And there's nothing on the back of the manual, it's just um, Kane and Lynch stuff. Alright, next is The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, uh, which I'm assuming is the same as the Return of the King game, so I've got nothing there. So, nice blue spine, and the back. <laughs> Decide the fate of Middle-earth. Oh, don't worry, I will. I will, because this is an official Lord of the Rings movie trilogy licensed product for all of the world to see. <laughs> and I've heard this, the, um, the, these Lord of the Rings games are actually pretty good. So, who knows? I, I haven't played Return of the King, even though I, I have it. But who knows? So, inside, here's the disc with the two towers. Ha! Huh! No. And the manual with black. Again, because you, you can't have enough of black. Alright, then we got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban with a ticket inside. You know what? Screw the back when the Dementor's coming. Let's get that ticket. Wait, isn't it... Is, is it in the manual? It's not in the manual. It's obviously not on the disc. Well, that sucks. But the game is actually pretty good. It's like um, Chamber of Secrets, if you played the Chamber of Secrets game. Alright, last one in 15 for 20 is Hurdy Gurdy. Which is a game about a bear, a child, and whatever that thing is. And it's made by Core Design, who made the Tomb Raider games. Which is very interesting and some foreshadowing. <laughs> I really don't know what this game is about, but I like the art style in the game. Uh, so spine and the back. A new world, a new hero. Because we got this kid probably going after a bear. But yeah, look at the graphics. Kind of looks like a storybook, with like the way that all the colors are like desaturated and whatever other art terms I can't think of. Inside, here's the disc with the kid. It's like, hmm, how am I going to sneak up on that, on this thing? And then here's the manual with the, with the cover art. And then, need some hurdy-gurdy hints. Go to the IDOS hit line. Hit line. Hint line. Not hit line. Is Hitman coming to get hurdy-gurdy? All right, so last game from Core Gaming, which is not on the 15 for 20, but it's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. Two, 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 if I can get my fingers right. Uh, so, Hot Pursuit 2, uh, it's the mission based Need for Speed game. So, it's not, don't think of like the underground games. Uh, just think of like just mission by mission. Go and jump in a car, avoid the police, and race. Because look at this. I'm a yellow car, styling. Because I got the Publisher's Choice Award with a PlayStation logo for best racing game. <laughs> Of whatever year this game came out. I think it was 2002, if it says down there. Yep, 2002. 
Ten is, is the spine, greatest hits, I don't care it's the greatest hits. And the back. Dream machines, getaway speeds. Fine grammar. Just mwah. Fine grammar. Send inside. Here's the disc with yellow. The yellow car. And then the manual with the yellow car. And the EA logo. And on the back is a red car. Ooh, new colors. Alright, so that's it for core gaming. Uh, next, let's um, go through. Uh, Bull Moose. Let's do Bull Moose next. I got two Dreamcast games, so I got um, the first one for two dollars is Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. Now I don't really know anything about like motocross and like the motocross like champions of the sport, so I just have this game. It, ha it has everything. Uh, oh, superstars, <laughs> fan Supercross fans, get stoked because I got Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 with an advertisement for fur fighters on the back. Whoop de doo I'm excited for Fur Fighters. Alright, so the other Dreamcast game is Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. Um, it's another Tomb Raider game that came out during this, like, the PlayStation 1 games. It's just this one was on Dreamcast. That's it, and you're in Egypt. Another white spine on the back. A, an epic Egyptian adventure. The Rast... The I can't speak. The Last Revelation. Because we got Lara Croft uh, with her guns and with grappling hooks and a winter coat in the middle of the desert. Because that's logical. So inside, here's the disc. Obviously, with Lara Croft's John Lennon glasses and uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. And again, if you need help, go to the Idas hint line with this number. Alright, so first, uh, let, actually, let me just put all the original Xbox games in with each other. Uh, the first one is uh, Tomb Raider Legend. Um, it's Tomb Raider Legend. But this is a great game, by the way. I love like the like this little trilogy of Tomb Raider games, like the ones that Crystal Dynamics made, the first Crystal Dynamics trilogy. And I love this game. I haven't played Underworld yet, so yeah. Spine and the back. Lara Croft is back, and that's all you need. Is the disc and is the manual. I have another copy of this game, so if you so if you guys want it, uh, go ahead. Um, I'll probably also do that, like SSX. Uh, next is Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. So I think this was like the last big, uh, good Tony Hawk game. I don't have Proving Ground, which I've heard is like the last good Tony Hawk game, but uh, I don't know. I've heard like either mixed things about American Wasteland or good things about American Wasteland. I don't know. Uh, so, but it looks like a, like a really interesting looking game. So it's spine and the back. The first free roaming Tony Hawk game. Skate, uh, skate LA as one massive streaming world. Which I'm pretty sure is not true. According to like some reviews that I've seen. Inside here's the disc. And this one actually had Xbox Live um, connectivity to it. Finally for a Tony Hawk game. And then Call of Duty 2 on the back of the manual. Because that's what you need with Tony Hawk. You need some Call of Duty and World War II action. Alright, next is Roulette. It's Run Like Hell, but it's just kind of funny to think that Interplay decided it was a good idea to call the game Roulette. Like you're throwing up. Roulette, Roulette, Roulette. Alright, I'll stop. So we got this guy running away from what looks like dragons. And maybe he's trying to escape Dino Crisis 3. I don't know. It also has a free Breaking Benjamin song in the soundtrack. In the Roulette soundtrack. <laughs> so Spine and the back. Your mission, not to join them. Duh. That's what you always do. You don't join them. You just run like hell and don't join them. Just don't join this xenomorph looking alien. And inside, here's the disc with gray and it looks like a CD. <laughs> from here and then here's the manual with this alien or monster again and on the back is the breaking benjamin sound <laughs> sound song polyamorous polyamorous did i say that right i don't know maybe some like crazy um breaking benjamin fan will be like no that is not how you say it jason <laughs> all right I'll stop. 
Alright, next one is not really a game, but this is the Xbox Music Mixer. So I really don't know what this is about. I bought it because I thought it would be something like um, a Garage Band, but I don't think it's like Garage Band because I actually do stuff. I actually make music on Garage Band at my school, and maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make like an intro out of like the music that I've made. So I don't really know anything about that. All right, last original Xbox game is uh, Spartan Total Warrior, which is Spartan Total Warrior. It's a Total War spin-off but for consoles and it's about the Spartans. That's really all you need to know. Sudden spine at the back. You are the Spartan. You are the Total Warrior. Total War with the Spartans. And I think you even get to do the Sparta kick. You know, like from 300. This is Sparta! So inside is the disc. There's a Sega thing with Sonic on it and then the manual. And the back is Shadow the he Shadow Lay Edgehog. <laughs> really funny to think about. All right, so next is uh, the one Wii game that I got, and that's Medal of Honor Heroes Two that almost slipped and fell. So it's Medal of Honor Heroes Two, the first one. My God, it wasn't released on the Wii, so that sucks. But uh, I haven't played it yet. But it looks like a fun game. White spine in the back. World War II is in your hands. And you even get to use the Wii Zapper. Which is interesting. <laughs> so inside. Here's the black black disc. And then the manual with EHE codes yet again. Alright so next. Uh, wait hold on. Okay sorry about that. So let's just keep going. So we got the last bit of PlayStation 2 games that I got from Bull Moose. Uh, the first one, just to get it out of the way, is another Tomb Raider game. But this is Tomb Raider Anniversary. Great game, by the way. Excellent remake of the original like Tomb Raider games. I think it's the first one that I remade. But, yeah, great game. It's basically, it plays a lot like Uncharted. Un uh, I can't speak today. Like Uncharted, but it came out, I think, before Uncharted. If I'm not mistaken. Since buying in the back. Unlock the past. Because you got nice graphics. I've heard that the PS2 version is actually the best version of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe the 360 version is. I'm not completely sure. So inside, here's the disc. Some, like, Aztec uh, treasures for some tomb raiding. Ha! No. And then here's the manual with the same art from the cover with Lara. And then the Sphinx of Egypt, if you could see it, with the light not coming up. Because you could barely see it. Alright, next is... Oh my god. Dora! Journey to the Purple Planet! Okay, I really can't explain this uh, that well. I got... Uh, my friend Aaron Fazbear wanted me to get this game. And I didn't pay it. It was $6. But I did make an April Fool's Let's Quick Play video out of this game. And I'll put a link to it in the, in the description below. It's a great video. I loved making it. But, um... No, let's just not give this game any more time because I really don't want to talk about it. Next game, which is The Getaway, Black Monday. And I just hit my tripod again. So it's a sequel to The Getaway. Big surprise there. <laughs> and you, you just got to go with your mates around London, doing stuff in London and just doing stuff like GTA is what I'm assuming. Oh, and you can also win a, an appearance in a future getaway game, which there was never another getaway game after this. And you can get a, two, a trip for two to London. And you can get a motorcycle. <laughs> Greed, murder, revenge, who cares about that? Let me see that. <laughs> um, so enter the getaway Black Monday giveaway. And there's actually a code on the back, but I don't think this code works. If you want to try it out, go ahead. <laughs> and it is the disc and uh, the manual like the original getaway it gets kind of artsy on us if I could just do this kind of artsy kind of artsy fartsy like the game is trying to tell me something like this is what you do in London Jason I can't do a British accent to save my life all right next I gotta speed this up because I only have like 20 minutes left of recording left <laughs> left of recording left <laughs> all right so the last PlayStation 2 game is Devil May Cry, the first one. Um, I think this was like one of the last big Capcom games I need for the PS2. So, there's that. I got Dante. I got, I think, what I think is Trish right here in this uh, silhouette. Just 
shooting guns, make it, trying to make the devil cry. Ha! No. And take names. Send Spine and the back. Yeah, it's greatest hits. I don't care if it's greatest hits. Half man, half demon. Pure vengeance. Oh, vengeance. And then Trish just is like, whoa. Vengeance. Inside, here's the disc. Oh, and you need, if you need help with uh, Devil May Cry, ask the Capcom hint line if the camera could focus. There we go. And then here's the manual for the game with red on the back. All right. All right, so last bit of um, this haul video with this is um, GameStop stuff. So let me just put all the, the games that are from their console together. So, let's see. First, let's start off with Wii U. The first one we got is SteamWorld Collection, which has SteamWorld Heist and SteamWorld Dig. I haven't played SteamWorld Heist, but Dig is really, really good. And um, this game is complete, if you're really wondering. <laughs> Two action-packed games in one box and on a disc. All right, and I also got... Mario and Sonic at the, uh, no wait. Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games. <sighs> That's a mouthful, but this game is nowhere near as expensive as the Rio Olympics because for some reason that's expensive. I don't know why, because it's just Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. Legendary rivals um, face off in the ultimate winter competition. Ooh yeah! Inside. Here's the disc, and no manual. I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have a manual, so, yeah. Alright, so next is the PlayStation 4 games. Let's just put both these together, even though they're completely different from each other. We got Tearaway and Dishonored 2. <laughs> Let's start with Tearaway. So, from the creators of Little Big Planet comes this thing, Tearaway. Which is a Vita game, but since the Vita, since the Vita flopped, let's bring it to PS4 and call it the Crafted Edition. And I like the art style, because art styles always get me. Unfold an incredible adventure. And there's a spine. Um, I really, it's I really don't know how to explain it that well. So yeah, inside, here's the disc and the controls on the back. And then Dishonored 2, um, I, you should, you saw I have the original Dishonored, so there's that. Uh, yeah, uh, it's spine in the back. Take back what's yours. Take back the, the city of what you own. And it's PS4 Pro Enhanced, so you know what that means. They gotta add more sparks. More sparks to the game, because 4K. And then inside... Here's the disc with like some like medieval stuff on it. There's artwork on the back, if you could see. And then Dishonor Definitive Edition, Code, uh, Imperial Assassin's Pack, and then the manual, which has nothing. So it's very, very exciting. Alright, so then the one PlayStation 3 game I got is SSX. The, re the remake or reboot of SSX. And this game was pretty good. Uh, I haven't played enough of it, so I can't really tell you anything about it. So spine and the back. Defy reality and own the planet. Christ, I need to own the planet soon. <laughs> so it is a disc and no manual. That sucks, but whatever. All right, then Xbox 360 games. Uh, first one is Rage Anarchy Edition. <laughs> it says... It's Rage. It's by id Software, so you know it's gonna be some good stuff. So, I really don't know anything about this game. I, I think, like, id Software was, like, trying to, like, hype it up as much as, um, Doom. But it didn't, <laughs> like... But it looks like a cool game, though. Like, post-apocalyptic Doom. Just instead of going through hell, you're trying to go through the apocalypse. So, Spine and the back. From the creators of Doom and Quake. Like, trademarked, again. Because it's, it's software. I really don't... Again, I don't really know anything about this game because I haven't played it. Inside, we got Skyrim stuff. Prey 2, which never came out. Um, manual and some like DLC. And then we got three discs for the game. Disc 1, 
disc two and disc three, all with different designs, which is something I can always appreciate. So thank you, id Software, for that. Or maybe it wasn't id Software that did that. Maybe it was Bethesda. Hey, if you hear something in the background, it's just one of my dogs. All right, so the other one, Xbox 360 game, is Tomb Raider Underworld. So I have the entire first Crystal Dynamics uh, Tomb Raider trilogy. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I really don't know anything about Tomb Raider Underworld, except the fact that I have it. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's in Spine and the back. Explore everything. Stop at nothing. <sighs> Just stop at nothing because I already have enough Tomb Raider games as it is. So more screenshots and inside excuse me here's a disc with Lara just showing just showing herself off <laughs> and then here's the manual it's the same as the front and on the back is join the community www.tomraider.com so there's that alright so the last um, few games that I have hold on let me have some water Uh, I got two Switch games, which I haven't gotten Switch games in a while. So the first one is Trials Rising Gold Edition. Probably the most recent game to my collection, then the other one. But this is a really interesting, like, um, cycling game, like, with bikes. Um, it's a very weird game because it re relies heavily on physics and this mastery of the game's controls because the controls are very weird even though they're very simple. But it's a very hard game, for sure. Uh, spine, Red Spine, like all the other games, and the back. Eat Dirt, Taste Victory. And then if you want to read all of this, uh, go ahead. Because I've this video is already long enough as it is. So inside. Oh, wait, there's a code. Uh, here's the cartridge. Yeah, here's the cartridge. If you can see it. Come on, camera, focus. Focus, camera. There we go. Trials Rising. And then there's a sticker book in the back of this. Kind of like the Nicholas games. Alright, then the other Switch game is, if I can, the camera can focus, the Lego Movie 2 video game. Uh, this one was, both of these were $20, so that's why I bought both of them. But um, it also comes with an adhesive patch because I really needed a, an adhesive patch with my Lego Movie 2 video game experience. Uh, so spine, red spine, and the back. Save your friends, rebuild your world, play as your favorite characters, be a master builder, and explore new worlds. And here are the specs. Oh, and basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. Just to be aware of that. <laughs> because apparently Warner Brothers thinks you're dumb. And then, players, right there. Cartoon violence. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. <laughs> I just, I just want to finish this video because this video is so long. Stupid. My God. Stupidly long. Like, I did not anticipate this video to be super long. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let me see that adhesive patch. Oh, here it is. Here's the adhesive patch with Emmett and Wild Style from the movie. Did this fall off? I don't know. It probably did. And then we got advertisement for Legoland and cheat codes. Wait, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Someone just came in. But here's the patch. And then you get cheat codes. And uh, nothing for artwork, which is just lovely. Trials Rising did the same thing. But at least this one has stu a stuff and uh, an ESRB rating that is there for some reason. And then here's the cartridge. Go on, focus camera. Focus. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, so, um... Yeah. Uh, so next is, uh... You know what? I'll save the movies for, like, a part two of this. Because this is way too long for its own good. So the last two things... I'm The last two things that I have are Amiibos. I got two new Amiibos for today. I got Young Link... For Smash Bros. and Daisy. These were ones that I just really, like, really wanted. Because I want to get every Mario amiibo, regardless if it's Smash Bros. or not. So that's why I got it. And Young Link just looked cool. So that's why I, I bought both of these. And then there's Japanese on there, because I don't know why. And then flipping these to the back. 
Uh, you got stuff about Smash Bros, about Daisy and Young Link, because they're both in the game. And there's more Japanese that I can't read. So there's that. So let's start with Young Link first, because he's the he he's destined to get out of this box first. So I got my Nerf. I think I forgot to mention that with uh, opening Lego Movie 2. So let's cut the box, and hopefully I don't damage um, the artwork, because I've, I've always really liked the artwork in these. If I can get these out really, like, in a really nice way, please. Uh, well, uh, did I mess up the art? I hope I didn't. Uh, doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it. Oh, but, oh, I did, um, cut that. That's okay. We just get a little bit more. Just more. Um, we get the other side quickly. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Oh, God, I'm damaging the box. I don't want to damage the box. Let me just get Young Link out quickly. If I, if, if I can get him out. There we go. Here's Young Link. Very nice, very nice looking figure. It's got pretty much all every detail of like the official bot like art for Young Link and Smash Bros. That's uh, like you know everything on the on the sword sheath, the shield, the hat. Like this is a really nice looking figure. This will go well with my um my Wind Waker Link. All right, and then let's go on to Daisy. Uh, Daisy, I've, I've wanted more than Young Link because, like I said, I want to get every Mario Amiibo, regardless if it's Smash Bros. or Mario Party or, like, whatever. So, let's just get Daisy, and hopefully I don't damage this, I hope, hopefully I don't damage the box there, because I have a feeling that this Amiibo is going to be really valuable in the future, so I don't want to damage the box art that much. It's going pretty smoothly, though. But then again, maybe I already jinxed it. And, yep, I already jinxed it. Well, that sucks, but I didn't get, like, the actual, like, box art of Daisy. Like, the actual, like, cardboard. So, let's just get Daisy out real quick. Because, again, this video needs to end. Right, come on. Oh, I got it. I, I almost, like, took her out. There we go. Alright, here's Daisy. Again, just like Young Link, this one pretty much has all the details of the, like, I guess the Peach Amiibo of Smash Bros, even though I don't have the Peach Amiibo. Uh, but yeah, it pretty much has everything, like, down to, like, the little ruffles and everything. I don't know, dress terms. Uh, so, actually, let me go get my Daisy, my Mario Daisy Amiibo. This is, like, compare the two. God, I have a mess behind me. Alright, so here we go. This is the difference between them. This one's smaller because of Smash Bros. And uh, there really isn't much else. Just this one looks more cartoony and this one looks more realistic. So yeah, that is it. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is going to be the movies, which will be much shorter. And um, yeah, I'm so sorry that this video ended up being so long. And next video, I'm also going to do a room tour of, of my room, obviously. So shock the world and us, amiibos. Goodbye.